Welcome to WebStyle Press. How to check if a number is Fibonacci or not using JavaScript. The Fibonacci numbers are these. This is a Fibonacci series. The Fibonacci sequence or series is a type of series in which each number is the sum of two numbers that precede it, meaning each number is sum of previous two numbers in the series. For example, 8 is sum of 5 and 3. 2 is sum of 1 and 1. 13 is sum of 8 and 5. We have to write a function in JavaScript that takes in a number and finds if the given number is a Fibonacci number or not. In this video, we will look into that. But before that, give this video a like, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already because I am bringing similar content on this topic. Okay. There are a few different ways to check if a given number is a Fibonacci number in JavaScript. One way is to iterate through the Fibonacci sequence and check if the number is equal to any of the numbers in the sequence. To do that, define a JavaScript function which takes an input parameter, num. The function will return a boolean value indicating whether provided a number is a Fibonacci number or not. Initialize three variables, fib1, fib2, and fib3 with 0, 1, and 0, plus 1 respectively. Use a while loop that continues until fib3 is less than or equal to provided number. In each iteration, if provided number is equal to fib3, return true, indicating that the number is a Fibonacci number. Replace fib1 with fib2. Replace fib2 with fib3. Calculate the next Fibonacci number by adding fib1 and fib2. At the end of function, Return false, indicating num is not a Fibonacci number. Call the function with a number as an argument and it will return true if number is a Fibonacci number. 2 is a Fibonacci number, it is true. 4 is not in Fibonacci numbers. 8 is a Fibonacci number, so it is true. Thirteen is Fibonacci number. So it outputs true. 15 is not Fibonacci number. So it returns false. It's worth noting that the performance of such approach may vary depending on the number you are checking. You can improve the performance using memoization or lookup table to store already computed values. But yeah, there you go. This is how we can check if a number is Fibonacci or not using JavaScript. Okay, I hope it helped. Like, share, subscribe and I will see you in the next video.